के भार्गव एंड आई एम सीनियर डायरेक्टर कार्डियक इलेक्ट्रोफिजियोलॉजी इन पेसी एट मेदांता द मेडिसिटी गुड़गांव आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग अ कंडीशन कॉल्ड ब्रेडिकार्डिया ब्रेडिकार्डिया एक्चुअली जस्ट मींस अ स्लो पल्स रेट और स्लो हार्ट रेट एंड इट कैन हैव मल्टीपल कॉजेस द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ व्हिच इज प्रॉब्लम इन द नेचुरल पेसमेकर ऑफ द हार्ट or problem in the conduction of the electrical impulse in the heart which can occur because of the age related degenerative processes but could also be due to certain drugs used to treat blood pressure or fast heart rhythm problems also it can be because of certain illnesses for example viral infection of the heart for example heart attack can damage the arteries which supply the normal conduction system or the electrical system of the heart or it could be because of certain other infections or conditions like sarcoidosis and bradycardia uh, basically can produce certain kind of symptoms the most common of one of which is uh, fainting or giddiness patient may just transiently lose consciousness and may fall down which is called as fainting episode or may feel giddy while walking other times bradycardia can also present by symptoms like breathlessness on exertion or chest pain on exertion or extreme fatigue and one needs to evaluate if you or uh, one of your relatives is having symptoms similar to these it is important to get yourself evaluated for these symptoms to know whether you are you or your family uh, is having bradycardia or not now if there is no reversible cause for bradycardia the treatment basically requires implantation of certain devices called as pacemakers but it is also important to know that sometimes bradycardia may be totally physiological meaning that may be normal though the rate is still low as is commonly seen in athletes or people who do uh, high endurance exercises or practice yoga uh, uh, routinely so sometimes during sleep also the pulse may fall below the normal rate and that is entirely normal and does not require any treatment so it is best to get yourself evaluated by your physician or cardiologist if you have any symptoms of that or uh, your ecg or pulse rate is low but you do not have any symptoms to know whether you have bradycardia and if yes whether you require any treatment or not